Another week, another platinum trophy. This week we are heading back into the sea, but this time to a pineapple under the sea. Yes, we have arrived at Bikini Bottom for the game SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shape. I just want to say a huge thank you to THQ Nordic for providing me with a code for the game. Before we get into the first trophy though, can you please go press both like and subscribe? Your support is greatly appreciated. I start off this trophy hunt with a couple of miscellaneous trophies. First up is Wanted Sponge. For this, I just need to hit 25 NPCs. Shortly after this, I went on a jump pad and bounced 10 times in a row for the trophy Bounce Bub. Then finally, I changed costumes for the first time to unlock the trophy dress up. Heading into the first area now called Wild West Jellyfish Fields, this is where we come up against some enemies. Our first trophy in this area is called Bamboozle. We just need to use our bubble attack on an enemy that hasn't detected Spongebob yet. After defeating several more enemies, the next trophy we unlock is Sponge Out of Harm's Way. This was for defeating a total of 50 enemies without taking damage from them. Continuing on with the theme of defeating enemies for the trophy Bubble the Trouble, we just needed to bubble 10 tartar jellies that are currently engaged in an attack. And then finally in this area we received the trophy stunning performance for causing the jelly maker enemy to use his roar to push 50 enemies. We then catch Mr. Krabs and complete this area, for now anyway, to receive the trophy Deputy. The next area we go into we actually don't unlock any new trophies until pretty much the end. We do however get a new move which is a karate kick which I end up using a lot more than a net spin. When getting to the end of the level and beating Sandy we receive the trophy Movie Star. We have now entered the area called Pirate Goo Lagoon and we pick up where we left off getting a lot more trophies. We start off with the trophy King of Bubbles for bubbling a total of 100 enemies. Shortly after this we receive the trophy Is It A Plane? Is It A Pizza? for gliding a total of 1000 meters throughout the game. We then end up on a beach and I went ahead and spun 6 beach umbrellas for the trophy Beach Spinster. Next up was Box champion for destroying a total of 1000 tikis. Then finally we karate kicked a total of 100 enemies for the trophy The Way of the Sponge. We managed to reclaim the Dutchman's ship within 5 minutes during the boss fight so we received the trophy Deck Scrubber. And because we beat this area we also get the trophy First Mate. After completing Pirate Goo Lagoon we make our way straight to the next area which is Halloween Rock Bottom. Outside of the boss fight trophies we just unlock two trophies while here. First up is Red and Shiny we need to press a total of 50 buttons for this trophy. And then Volley King, for this we just need to defeat 10 baby booms by reflecting their missile. We quickly finish up this area and defeat the boss to get the trophy, Scaredy Pants. We make our way to the next area called Prehistoric Kelp Forest and the same thing happens here, we just unlock two trophies. First up is Jaws with Flaws which requires us to defeat 10 enemies using another enemy called the Burrower. I then finally collected 10,000 jellies which gave us the trophy Spongebob Jelly Pants for carrying all 10,000 jellies at once. We then finish up this area to get the trophy Urg Ugaha. We now just have two areas to complete for the story and then we can start work on clearing everything else up. The next area we head into is called Medieval Sulphur Fields. We just get the one trophy here for now which is called Friendly Fire. All you need to do for this is defeat a big jelly with a baby boom projectile. With that done I complete all the main missions in this area for the trophy King of the Castle. We are now in the final area called Jelly Glove World to take on the enemy Glovey Glove. We get two trophies here and one of them is during the boss fight. Our first trophy is called Spring Cleaning, we just had to suck in a total of 100 enemies with the Reef Blower. Then during the boss fight we get the trophy Splash Zone. You get this by making the boss Gluffy Glove defeat 20 enemies during the fight. We then of course complete all main missions in this area for the trophy Ride Rider. Before completing the game though I quickly catch a few more jellyfish to get the trophy Jellyfish Hunter. Continuing on with the story to finish it up, Squidward ends up being turned into a huge bad guy and we have to take him down. After surviving a couple of ways and taking him down we finally saved Bikini Bottom from being destroyed and received the trophy Local Hero. At the same time we get the trophy Tentacle Dodger for not being hit by Squidward's tentacles during the boss fight. It is now time to clean up the rest of the trophies. These will include going back and taking on boss battles again in each area but this time with certain requirements. Also we need to collect all coins and spatulas in each area and unlocking everything there is to unlock. First up was catching Mr. Krabs in under 3 minutes for the trophy The Good, The Bad and The Krabby. I destroyed 500 objects to unlock the trophy Spongeinator. I then caused the defeat of 25 enemies using Big Jelly's attack for the trophy Raft Tub. Then I finally defeated 5 Jelly Makers by knocking other enemies onto them to unlock the trophy Return to Sender. Next up were the boss fights. I went back to take on Sandy first for the trophy Karate King. I needed to beat Sandy without taking any damage at all. 
This one took me a couple of attempts, but I got there in the end. Next up was Pet You Didn't See That Coming. For this, during the King Gary boss fight, I just had to make sure that King Gary didn't see me once. I got lucky several times during this and managed to complete it on my first attempt. Now we're back at Prehistoric Kelp Forest for the trophy Dehydrated. We just had to make sure to evade all of Pom Pom Shockwaves during the boss fight. We are now down to our final boss battle, and this one was a tough one. Back at Medieval Sulphur Fields, and for this boss fight, we have to deliver all cakes without being hit once for the trophy Night in Shining PJs. This one took me a little bit longer than others as when you pick up the cakes it slows you down drastically while at the same time you are being shot at by the witch and also enemies chasing you. Thankfully for this trophy it just meant not to be hit by the enemies, the green magic the witch shoots at you, you are okay to be hit with that. We are now down to our final 6 trophies, the 6th being the platinum trophy itself. The first trophy we unlock is hazardous, we simply needed to defeat 25 ninjellies with the environmental hazards. Next up was music enthusiast. After some searching, I finally found Slamville so we could listen to them perform a solo in peace and quiet. After going through more of the areas, I collected enough gold coins to unlock all the costume tiers. After unlocking them all, I bought every costume that was available in the game, but there were still two remaining. For these, we needed to complete the side missions. After quickly finishing these and getting the last two costumes, I unlocked the trophy Fashion Hunter. This next one took me a while. I found all but one secret. After extensively going through each level in order, I finally made my way back to Jelly Glove World. I went behind a painting and there it was, the final secret to unlock the trophy, Sponge Lock Holmes Pants. There was just one more thing that we needed to do. I needed to collect just one more gold coin to get the trophy, wanna see me do it again. For this trophy we need to clear every level and defeat the final boss. However as I did everything else, we just needed to collect that one final gold coin. I went straight back to Wild West Jellyfish Fields as this was the only place that I had missed a coin. I thought I had been everywhere on this map but while riding a seahorse I noticed I could turn right and at the same time I noticed there was a gold coin. After picking up that gold coin I received the trophy wanna see me do it again and then of course the platinum trophy one sponge to rule them all. The Cosmic Shake is a great platformer and definitely a game I recommend if you want to casually sit and play and just have a good time. Although I do wish there was a PS5 version of the game as at times the loading screens took just a little bit too long. Finally again I just want to say a huge thank you to THQ Nordic for providing me a code for this game.